Hello guys, buenas tardes. Bienvenidos a nuestra celebración de Día de los Muertos. Welcome to our Día de los Muertos celebration. Um, my name is Leonel Rosario and I'm from the state of Oaxaca. And in Oaxaca is in the south of Mexico, close to the Pacific Ocean. In Oaxaca we have one of the unique celebrations that we do in this, you know, Día de los Muertos or Todos los Santos also that we call them. And Día de los Muertos gets celebrated all through Mexico, but in Oaxaca it gets really big, it's bigger. So right here we have the Oaxacan ofrenda. We're going to show you a little bit and tell you a little bit about how we celebrate Día de los Muertos or Todos los Santos. And this is really unique. We start, everything starts, you know, when the month of October comes, we start with, um, with saying, the saying that we do in Oaxaca, it says, you know, huele a muerto, or, you know, it smells like it, like that, but it's in a way to say that is the celebration is coming and we're going to start getting ready and it, everything starts smelling like, like that time of the year with, with all the, the preparations that people are going to start doing. From there, October 15, that's when everything comes into, into life. So all the people from the town go to the cemetery and the, at the cemetery it gets to be a big party almost in the, um, that we go there. And people go really early in the morning, you know, like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 2 a.m. The, they try to be as early as possible. And why we go there is to invite to invite the, the people, the relatives the, or loved ones that passed away. Um, we go there to invite them, to tell them, come November 1st to the house, to the friend that we're gonna be waiting for you. Um, and also, while there at the cemetery, we fix the graves, uh, we paint the, the names back on the, on the cross. Um, there's lots of flowers, we decorate the graves, we put lots of candles and people share stories about who the person was and you, and you get to learn about people that you never met, uh, which is really unique. By 7 a.m., everybody's gone, but during that morning, the whole cemetery just lights up and it's not a spooky place, it's not a scary place anymore, it's, it's a happy place and everybody's there um, really, really enjoying themselves. From there, people start celebrating Dia los Muertos or Todos los Santos, and we start visiting each other and we start sharing food. You know, there's lots of uh, pan de muerto to be shared, uh, lots of tamales, mole is one of the main um, uh, foods that we eat during that time. So you go to their houses and then they go to yours and it's a, just big celebrations. October 31st, that's when the Noche de los Tamales or Noche del Arco starts happening. And there, that's when we make the ofrenda. Um, the males of the house will be making the, the ofrenda, el arco, and the females will be making lots of food and the tamales. We say that the night nobody sleeps, um, and it's because everybody's celebrating and waiting for the next day. So what we do with the ofrenda, we do the arco, we call it the arc of life, and it's usually, uh, with, we make it with lots of flowers, sempasuchil, marigolds, or we use birushi, which is like a smaller wild flower that grows in, in Oaxaca and the smell is really strong, and, and the colors are orangey, yellows. So right here, we have some um, marigolds, and why we choose them is because the color of that is like a sympathy, sympathy for the, for the souls and also the smell is really strong which guides them to where the friend is at the house. Um, so that's what, what we do with the ark. And then mainly the, the friendas are you know are built at the altar in the in house. So you'll see some saints, pictures, uh, Virgin Mary is usually at the friend. Um, some people put pictures of their uh, relatives in there too, which is kind to remember them. Um, and then you put all the offerings that, that you're going to um, offer them so they can come and enjoy. You're going to see lots of fruit. Um, you're going to see pan de muerto, which is really unique. It's, it's a, the bread, they only make it during this time and that's it. So you have to enjoy it until next year. Um, water, there has to be water at the ofrenda. 
because we say they, they're walking and they're thirsty. Um, candles, we do candles for the light so they can, they, they can see where to go. Um, so all these unique things. And one of the main things that you want to, want to have, there's always a friend that is copal, which is the one that we burn to purify the place so no evil uh, spirits can come in. In, in the room. So there's always copal burning in front of the ofrenda. And every 15 minutes, we have somebody that goes and blows um, all around the room so it stays purified. So the souls can be uh, at the friend enjoying themselves. November 1st, that's when we believe that the, the souls are gonna be able to come and visit us. That's the day when we believe that they are allowed to come back to visit us. And that's when we believe that death and life come together just in, in one day. So the November 1st in the re really early morning, what we do, all the leftovers from the, from the flowers, all the stems and everything, we put them in a pile and we burn them to create this big smoke. And if you go out, you're gonna see all through the town, every house is this smoke coming out and you start hearing some um, firecrackers saying that we are ready and we're gonna be waiting for all the souls to come and visit us. Um, it's really, really um, unique. So the first ones to come, we say that are the Los Angelitos, the little angels. And that's why we have lots of candy too in the, in the ofrenda, like you can see here. They are the ones that are allowed to come first. They come from the early morning till noon. And that's from noon, that's when the adults are gonna start coming in. Um, so there's a, we used to burn a little, some little firecrackers and it's like happy time in the morning because the little angels, the little kids that passed away are able to come. Um, and then from noon, the adults are gonna start coming in. There's a lot of stories of people that have actually heard them coming. The, some of them hear them talking, which is really unique. Um, my mother, grandmother, she used to put a little um, container with a couple coins in it, and you could hear him. My mom said when the, the souls were coming in, and they they all shake and make the noise for the coins. So there was really lots of respect, lots of silence um, at the friend that nobody goes in during the day, only either your mom or dad. Um, and it's I always say, you know, there's lots of food in front of the at the friend that, and the dogs in Mexico, they're free, but they do not go in near the friend and either. So there's a lot of respect for, for it. Um, and it's usually really quiet uh, for, so they can come and enjoy themselves. What we believe they take is just the smell of the, of the food. So that's what they, they take. Um, and that's when, what we do with the, the ofrenda. And in, in my hometown, it's, we don't only do the ofrendas at the house, but there's one at the town hall, one of the church, one of the schools, one of the cemeteries. And why is so people that don't have any more uh, family at the town, but they are at the cemetery, they are able to go to one of the ofrendas and enjoy themselves too. So that's why we do it. Dia los Muertos in general in Oaxaca is one of the, the biggest and, and best traditions that I believe that we have. And it's a time for us to remember, it's a time for us to reunite, it's a time for us to, to learn. It's a happy time, it's Dia de los Muertos, it's not a time to be sad, it's, it's, a, it's a time to be really happy. Um, and that's how you know, we, we celebrate it. And, and I believe it's one of the best ones too because you get to learn, and you, you know, the, all the stories that your parents are going to tell you, or your older brothers or all other siblings are going to tell you about all the, um, you know, the relatives that are not here with us no more. You know, you get to learn from them. So it's really unique. And also because all the family comes together and, and you celebrate and you eat and you're pretty happy. So thank you guys. This is our Oaxacan ofrenda that we demonstrate for you guys today. Um, thank you to the Rocky Museum for inviting us. And thank everybody for, for staying tuned with us. Thank you.